I just got in my Agendio inserts. And this is what they look like. They came very well packaged. And this is the front page. Now I already have the same situation going on in the Kate Spade, so I don't know if I'll be using these pages. And then I got it to start in May, so um, it got here today, so it's what's today? Today is the 13th, so there's going to be a couple of blank pages, but I'm going to just probably fiddle around with them a little bit, but... I got mine set up to say priority, prayer focus, and then I got the times to start at 6 and end at 11. I can write in 5 and 12 if I need to, and then down here will be assignments for school. So like whatever homework assignments I'm going to be completing that day. And then that's basically how it goes. Um, the dates I have written up in this teal color for the first couple of months and then after that, what's this, July, August, I think September is when I change the color. September is like this sage green color. And then at this board, and I'll be keeping track of the assignments that are coming up for the week um, in this on this board, and then I'll write the dates they're due and um, whatever exams that are coming up that I need to study for. I'll also write the day that they're due up here and um, and then I will delegate them to the days, like delegate how much I, the work I need to get done for those assignments to the days um, in that, in the weeks coming up. Um, so that's what I'll be doing. But yeah, I have to put these in my planner now. All right, everybody, this is my Landrospect Touch Me in the color mint. Um, it's a little dark in here, so it's kind of hard to tell um, the color, but it is a very true to tone, like aqua, kind of like a deep aqua. Um, this is it's lighter than the dark aqua from the file effects. Actually. I would have to say that this is pre this is the exact same color as the Filofax Malden in Aqua because I used to have it in pocket size and this is pretty much the exact same color. I have some lighter mint colored things that I can compare it to here in my office. So you can see but the lighting in here is not great because I put the top back on there um, please don't mind my desk um, okay so I'm gonna go ahead and get into her I have my Gendio inserts over here that just came in the mail these both this got here yesterday it was being held at the FedEx facility I went and picked it up this got here today. These are not all going in the planner. I mean, let's look Look at that. She's chunky. So, let's go ahead and get into it. If you've never seen a Vandra Speck touch me before, um, it is set up basically like a Giglio Campagna. And that's the reason I got it because I wanted a Giglio Campagna. They didn't have any available in the color that I wanted. 
um, and they're quite expensive. This is about half the price of it. I know that they're not the same as far as leather goes. I believe this is water buffalo. The Julios use calf leather, um, if I'm correct, Italian calf leather. So this is, and then um, I think that the Julios are a little bit more sturdy. Like this is very floppy. Like also very true to a molding. It's it's exactly as floppy as a molding is, um, if not more floppy. Um, which isn't too bad because it allows it to have some give as far as chunkiness goes. Like, this baby is chunked up. It's hard to think that just, like, maybe a month or so ago, I was in a compact. <laughs> Look how chunky she is. <laughs> um, at the top, she has a full length, um... Look at how floppy it is. I can't even hold it up. She has a full length pocket that runs the span of the entire planner and goes from top to bottom. So you can fit papers in there. Um, and then in this secretarial pocket, I have stamps, checks, um, receipts. Um, and here I have some appointment cards. Um, like blank appointment cards to give out, a little notepad, some more stamps, a dentist appointment. There's nothing in this pocket right now, but that's where cash will go. And there's nothing in this zipper pocket. Um, I'm not sure what I'll be putting there right now. And then Planner Cat. She always makes an appearance. She's hanging out. I also ordered two Ollie clips that I'm waiting on. So once those get there, get here, I'll be happy. Now I have some additional supplies over here on my desk. Um, it's messy, but right here on my desk I have some additional supplies, and in here are extra Ollie clips, paper clips, and then I forget what you call these. I call them clamps, but and then some stickers. They're all clamp clamping this sticker folder together and then extra post-its there's a mini happy planner in there that's undated that is so gorgeous and i'm thinking about using the dividers as dividers in the planner i'm not sure but i they're just they're absolutely gorgeous um i love the dividers more than anything in that planner um but anyway, carrying on, in this front zipper pocket here, I just have some post-it tabs, dividers, oh, you'll see those. Then I have some regular, some just stickers. I love this fly leaf that I made out of laminate. And I just have my coarse color code system, my pineapple post-its, and then these post-its that I got from... Rite Aid, I simplified my color code system down to three colors, green, blue, and red. Green is for any work hours or events. Blue is for travel, and red is for appointments, events, and meetings. Um, I did that because I it was just getting overwhelming with the amount of colors that I was using, and then I was trying to, I was changing them, and it was just like, no, we need to streamline this. And also, too, if you think about it, if I were to get, like, a, a four-color multicolor pen, um, these are basically all the colors that would come in the pen. So, you know, later on down the line, if I didn't want to use my Ink Joys anymore, or if miraculously Ink Joy just, you know, came out with a multi-pen, <coughs> hint, hint, um, then I would just have it all in one pen, and I wouldn't have to carry around an entire case of pens. Um... And then, okay, I'm sorry, I'm not flipping correctly here. Right after that is what you usually see when you come into my planner, which is my Ravenclaw common room rules. So you're about to enter the common room, this is what this is, of the Ravenclaw Tower. <laughs> and you must abide by the rules. And then behind is the proud to be a Ravenclaw and on the back it says keep calm and correct everyone and then I have Audrey by my favorite sketch artist whom you have seen before travel vacation calendar school here my login information is on here so I'm just gonna 
flip it over. Floor plan. Cleaning schedule. Old to-do list. This is an old to-do list. Um, this is the order and what I wanted to clean up for my office and bedroom. And then this is also new. I laminated um, two of the Michael's Recollections pages. So it's like just their regular line paper. And then the to-do list. And then I kind of just made a master task list for May. Um, and But I only have to do that once a month. Or unless this gets filled up and I check off everything on the list. And then I need to start it over. And then we get into... Whoa. Sorry. This is my bills and tithes and not that I care if you see it or not, but um, my mom would probably want me to cover that up. <laughs> and then some other personal stuff. Alright, so that's there. That's my tithing schedule bills and then my goal sheet thingy. And then we get into the weeklies. So, this is pretty much nothing has changed here. The only difference is now in the months I'm tracking bills. So, when bills are due. And then, oh, this is what my weeks have been looking like. I've kind of just been bullet journaling task lists. And I'm going to keep the weeks when I add in the days because I'm still going to have tasks and to-do lists but I'm not necessarily going to know exactly what time I want to assign to those like I don't I'm not going to know exactly the time that I want those tasks to be assigned to yet um so I like this this is working for me so I'm not gonna mess with it my bad guys <sighs> um because none of not not much of this has changed but this is my Ravenclaw bookmark she's back in there full effect um <laughs> But these are, this is my classes, so I'll just have a running to-do list. And then back here is just the notes, to-do list, uh, my gift giving for this year, things that I'm doing that I've got my head in, and then my meeting notes for FRG. And then back here is another secretarial pocket with some informations I have. Unfortunately, I have a speeding ticket. Um, some stickers, my Bible reading plan for this year, some cheat sheet cards for uh, vital signs and abbreviations and stuff, and then my debt payoff schedule. And then these are my most used cards. I'm going to go ahead and put these in, and then I will come back. Okay, I'm back. I took a little bit of a... Um, salad break I was starving um okay so what I ended up doing was I took out the after June I just took out all the weeks um so let me see if I can I really should tab these but I took out the weeks and so then you go into July and you see the month and then you see like the half the first half of the first week or yes yeah, so like you see the first half of like this first week that is left over from june and then the last week in july and i kept that in because it just says it goes like august here and then it has this and then you see the month and then the same thing over again all the way up until December um so yeah and that goes up until you hit this divider my Ravenclaw divider and then you go into the dailies so I have all the dailies in here for May and June um I probably could have fit July in here too but um I just put May and June in here yeah that's basically how I have it set up I will get back to you guys and let you know how it's going on uh, all right so have a great day and thank you so much for watching bye